Not even thinking about it. Ten rounds of heavyweight action. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. Black Mamba's making his way to the ring now, and he looks very focused for this fight. Tommy Morrison's unpredictability. Tommy Morrison, man. Ring walk focus. He is ready for action. He's a cool boxer. I, I watched the whole little documentary of him. His style wasn't that bad. Introducing first, Black Mamba. <laughs> of this 10-round fight. Of course, he's coming off of impressive knockout win. Black Mamba's opponent has to be very conscious of that. Well, I hope so. I mean, they should have done their scouting report. <clears throat> if they're conscious of it, there's a better chance that they don't get caught with the shot that his last opponent did. Matchup in front of us tonight, Teddy. A power puncher against a guy who's very well conditioned. Now, early on in the fight, what do you look for out of the power puncher? To take his power, you know, it's not just power. It's where you distribute that power. If I'm in the corner of the power guy, I want to distribute it downstairs to the body. No better way to sap somebody's endurance, mentally and physically, than going downstairs. Good block by Black Mamba. Halfway through round number one. Oh, and there he lands the right hand well. <laughs> I heard him. Let's get it. Let's get it. Blocks the headshot. Morrison's right hand scores well. That is a strong uppercut there. There's the hook. So right from the start in this fight, he's committed to the body shots. Well, that's the time to go there right at the beginning because body work pays off for you later in the fight. No sense in wasting time. Get right to it. Ten seconds of round number one. Good smooth work by Black Mamba. That's classic counter punching. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Pulls the trigger fast. Solid uppercut. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Banking away a body shot with the right hand. Blocks away that headshot. Halfway through this round here. Morrison's inability to hit the target is really making him look silly right now. He's throwing plenty of punches, just none of them are winning. <coughs> no, he's throwing them too wide, too far away, and what's going to be worse, right now he's only getting frustrated, maybe embarrassed as you touched on, but what's going to be worse is when he starts getting counted in between them. 
Teddy, among the things that we should be looking for early is which fighter can show a wide array of an offense. Yeah, you don't want to always be coming in that front door all the time. You want to come in the side door every once in a while, you know. Sometimes you want to maybe even come through the roof, down the chimney. You want to mix it up. <coughs> uh -oh. Good work with the uppercut. Nice job there. Well placed counter punch by Black Mamba. And that's the end of round two. Black Mama's showing off a real boxing IQ in that last round. Just fighting smart. I mean, not just reckless aggression, but smart, accurate punching. And talking about IQs, it's being led by that left jab, an educated left jab, a jab that talks a little bit, talks a couple languages. I mean, he's hooking off it, he's uppercutting off it, he's doubling up on it. Good job. Your best defense is to and round number three is underway. Nice block by Black Mamba. defense is it ever good look at how easy he's able to block those punches and now they're trading blows to the head he goes with a left hand Turns on that exchange. I need to see some head. Oh, and coming head. upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Digging in with a left. Black Mambas tagged by a right hand. Stop. Did you see that? Oh, he's got to be in the count of ten here. You know, this is the first time I've ever got dropped. Uh-oh. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Uh-oh. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. Basic but beautiful jab right hand. Is this, is this the upset? Is this the final countdown? Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just <clears throat> created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the whips, the old great ah! Willie Peck. Made him miss, made him pay. Black Mamba's probably thinking to himself that he found an early answer. The counterpunch doing damage here. And his opponent's thinking, what the heck am I doing? Am I shadow boxing? Because I'm not finding nothing. But I tell you, if I am shadow boxing, that shadow, it has a little bit of a punch. Hey, look, back. if it's anybody that's going to knock me out, it's got to be Tommy Morris. That's respect. <laughs> If anybody I'm fighting on this legacy mode, gotta be the one to knock me out. It's gotta be him. You need to capitalize on this. Damn. He's given up two rounds on Teddy's scorecard. He knocked me the fuck out. We tied up. I think he's got a pretty bright future in this fight here, knowing that he's gotten to his man. Yeah, he knows it and maybe more important. We really tied up. That knockout got him. And I can see it already. It's making him a little bit more tentative. So it's making his job a little easier. Right back to the work up top. <clears throat> Good, solid right hand lands. Morrison's got to do a better job. What a yeah, we tied up now. Yeah, sir. We tied up now. It's wraps. He knocked me down, knocked him out, let's get it. We gotta fight, we gotta fight. Because his opponent, he got a little reckless, a little careless. Tommy Morrison's gonna keep The man who was trained by Rocky Balboa himself. In the movie, of course. He the first one to knock me out, that's crazy. Oh shit.
In this legacy mode, hey. That means it's getting crazy. That means it's getting harder. With a straight right hand. Morrison's failure to get away from his opponent's right hand is really the difference in this fight. Yeah, it is. He continues to get hit with the same punch. Needs to slip to the left. Two good jabs by Black Mamba. Mama's left working well that time. <laughs> Nowhere close that. True, we almost. Hey, that right shit almost hit me though. It almost got me. Has to prove that he's a deep stretch runner here right now. I think he's slightly trailing as this fight comes to the later stages. But you can see his corner imploring him to go out and win it. Round five, here we go. So here we are, all wondering, can he survive the start of this round after the way we saw him go down in that last round? Well, it's up to his opponent. Now, his opponent gets a little careless and he rushes in a little bit too close. He can get a chance to grab those hands and tie him up. And then he can kill a little of the clock, survive. Black Mamba's defense is playing a prominent... Ooh! And once again, that dropped him? Question is, can he rise up again? Damn, that's crazy. I wasn't expecting I wasn't expecting that to happen. Morrison's now getting back up wow. on the Yeah, the uppercut is deadly. Okay, that's what it is. I got, I got to get my jabs up, and I get, get my um uppercut game going. Like that shit can be deadly, man. Black Mama's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. A minute and a half to go. Solid. Unbelievable. Just the barrage continues. He's knocked down again. But his desired heart is just as strong as it was before. That don't even look like he really connected for real. I don't think that really... I don't know. I mean, well, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, that hit him. That hit him. That hit him. It didn't even look like it really hit him, hit him for real. The ref is stopping this fight. Morrison's not going <laughs> to hear from those judges. He's a knockout victim. you liked it and just as importantly or more importantly his trainer his manager that shit was lit we 20 and 0